pray to our Blessed Mother Mary. Hail our Mother, Queen Blessed, Mother of our gladness, gracious you, full of grace, loving as none other, joy when all sadness surrounds us. You gave Jesus, our Saviour and Redeemer, hope and love for mankind. Pray for us, O Mother Patroness, joy of heaven and joy of earth. Be our consolation and comfort in times of adversity. Be our fortitude, good health and His grace bestow upon us. Sustain us in His holiness. Mary, God's own Mother and our dear Mother too, who love and care, continue to bless and intercede for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I, Father Martin Kumar, the parish priest of St. Mary's Basilica, Sivajinagar, Bangalore, take privilege and honor inviting all of you, the faithful in Christ, and to Mother Mary, to the 2019 festivities of St. Mary's Basilica, Sivajinagar, Bangalore. The 2019 festivities of St. Mary's Basilica will graciously unfold by flag hoisting on the 29th August 2019 by His Grace Most Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Bangalore. This will follow nine days of consecutive days of prayer and penance through Novena prayers, daily masses, and confessions will be heard all through the Novena to benefit the reconciliation of ourselves with God and His Church. And on the 8th of September, the Feast of our Mother's Blessed Nativity, there will be jubilant celebration. And in the evening, on the feast day, will be the grand car procession which will conclude the festivities. Come participate in large numbers with your family, friends and relatives in this historical event of the Divine Gathering and thus receive God's blessing and on yourself and on your beloved families. I also bless and grant permission to the Night of Christ Jesus channel on your YouTube to upload the Novena Masses in three languages, English, Kannada and Tamil, including the flag hoisting and the roadshow of the car procession. The selective events, video captured, will be uploaded to the Night of Christ Jesus channel on YouTube through internet platform on the same day within 24 hours. These recorded videos will be uploaded to ensure those who cannot personally come partake in this historic event due to the various valid reasons are now ensured and enabled to view these events in the video platform and at your convenient time, place and mode. God bless one and all of you. I wish you all a very happy feast of our Blessed Mother's Nativity on September 8, 2019. Night of Christ Jesus Prayer to Blessed Virgin Mary O Mother Divine, the Virgin who delivered our Saviour and Redeemer, 
this your son the lamb of god who was sacrificed for the salvation of human kind this crucified christ jesus before death on cross at calvary handed his own mother to be our mother under the shelter of this divine mother we shall always be safe cared and loved angel gabriel saluted you as ave maria hail mary so do we sing your praises forever ave maria ave maria be the blessed ever virgin mary ave maria mother of good health our lady of victory mother of perpetual health in all forms of love come to our aid at the time of need intercede for our forgiveness through your son christ jesus from our almighty ever living god bless and keep us in the presence of our true living god and in the good health of mind body and soul amen we love you mother mary
lots of desires, lots of plans and projects, and lots of problems in our own lives, our own family, our own society, carrying all those heavy burdens we have come from broken corner of the city and the state. It's only because of mainly lawlessness. By trusting in the boundless grace of our Lord Jesus, believing that Mother Mary intercedes for each and every one of us, let us record our sins, mistakes, faults and failures, so that we will be able to celebrate the Eucharist in a holy man. I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned and in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Praise the Lord. Can we all lift the hands to the Lord and say, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as you and I have been gathered around the altar of God, I bring you good news. You know, when the angel Gabriel met Mother Mary, the words was, I bring good news. So as this morning we all may expect, we need some good news over this day. Isn't it? We never expect something bad to start at the very beginning of the day. We always expect something good. And I bring good news to you. And that good news I bring from today's psalm. And never mind if you forget the entire sermon which I'm about to give. But my humble request to each one of you is to remember this very verse. Are you ready for it? Yes. Am I getting a bigger yes? yes? Praise God. The verse and the chapter is Psalm chapter 54. Psalm chapter 54 verses 6. So you can remember 5 or 6. No? So Psalm chapter 54 verses 6. In that Psalm, David cries to the Lord and says, I have God for my help. I have God for my help. Today you and I need to keep saying, I have God for my help. I've not relied on anybody else. I've come here on the pilgrimage. I've come here to my mother. I've come here to my God, to believing that my help is going to come from God alone. Because today, Psalm says, that when David was facing a lot of odds in his life, he just says, I have God with me, you know? That's the courage you need. That's the love you need from God. And who can say that I have God for my head? One who trusts in God. Like a little child who says, I have my dad who can take care of me. I have my mom who can take care of me. Because the child knows that the mother can help, the child knows the father can help, the child knows that when I trust my father and my mother, my help comes from them. So today, David says to his courtiers, his people, his servants, his soldiers, don't worry guys, you know, that we have God for our help. That's what in Psalm chapter 121, David says, my help comes from God alone. My help comes from God alone. And truly today, God will help you. God will help you. And I am a witness for it. I am going to share a little witness and I would really end my sermon. As I was reading this text yesterday, God will come for my help. Because as a priest, many things are provided to us from our parishioners, from our loved ones, from our parents. Sometimes, we really neglect to see how the help of God comes. And to whom does real help is needed is the one who is in crisis. Help is needed to the one who is in desperate situation. Help is needed to the person who comes here that he is need, complete need. When everything is provided, you don't have the need of God. You never even think about God. And sometimes it happened to me as a priest. I openly acknowledge it. But I say I was reading, I was asking God, some day or the other, I should be a witness to say, my help has come from God. And it happened yesterday itself. It happened yesterday. Last evening about when I had my dinner and I was back to my room, I simply slept. And after about 11 o'clock, I was feeling some itching over my entire body. And I just looked out into my mirror. My entire body was swollen with some kind of an 
I don't want to And I was desperate. And all of a sudden I was worried. But Lord, I had never been in a pilgrim to Mother Mary in my entire life. And being from Patrick Church, I said, let me make my first pilgrim. I made my first pilgrim in my life as a priest and as a person. And I would be missing that, Lord, I need your help. And I was searching for help. Whom shall I call now? And my immediate partner was Father Jesu, who was in Patrick's. And I called him at 12 o'clock in the night. And he rushed me to the hospital. And he, he medicated me. And I stand today being healed. I said, Lord, tomorrow morning when I look at my body, I should even never find even a little scar or little kind of a symptoms that I have an allergy. And I got up this morning at four. I saw my own body and I said, my God, God has placed his hand and worked the entire night to heal me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So your help will come in the form of a person. Your help will come in an invisible way. So two ways you will experience help. One, you will experience the help of God in a form of a person. Either it may be a close person or a person who is unrelated to you. Second thing, as the book of Colossians chapter 1 verses 20 says, God is invisible and therefore sometimes God may stand next to you. You may not recognize him. You may not realize him. But he will stand next to you an invisible form and he will help you. And you need to say all the time, my help will come from God alone. And who's the, to whom does God render his help? The psalmist says to three people. The psalmist says to three people. And the first reading says to another fourth kind of people. First, the psalmist says, God helps the one who really says, Lord, save me. The one who says, I can't hear it. So your help will come. The second person to whom God's help will come is to person who's frightened. So the psalmist says, Lord, defend me. I need your help, but you need to defend me. So God helps the people. God's help will come to? God's help will come to? Superb. And to whom does God help? That's the last answer. The first reading says, one who is near to God. One who is near to God. Because today St. Paul says, one who drifts away himself from God cannot find help from God. One who says, God, I'm always near you. Lord, I'm always near you. Jesus, I'm always near you. Please help me, Jesus. Please help me, Jesus. And you will find God's help. And I assure you that everyone, in one way or the other, will be helped by God. So today I'm going to teach you a little mantra, a little prayer. Over this day, whenever you're finding tough situations, say, I have Jesus to help me. What you will say? See, the way you say, people outside should say, yes, there is Jesus to help us. For the last and final time, what will we say? Come on, you're a lovely crowd, you know, come in search of help of God. See, the woman who was went behind Jesus for the help for her daughter, she kept shouting. And the disciples said, send her away. And because she was shouting, God helped. The last final time, your shout, your voice should be heard by God and says, Oh my God, she is shouting with help. I need to come. What we are going to say? I have Jesus to help me. God bless and have a wonderful day.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the humility of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our reign, and may he who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not dismiss but consecrated her integrity by taking from her now our wicked deeds make our oblation accept to you through Christ our Lord. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo our thanksful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age, who you took the form of loneliness of her handmaid. You gave us through her the authority of our salvation, your son Jesus Christ. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exaltation, praising as we acclaim. by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. <coughs> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be us to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, one of us in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us from our temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, God, from every evil, gracious hear our prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily to the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. and the Holy Spirit. My heartfelt gratitude for this video viewers. May God bless you all.